here with Mark from Laser Shot. How are you? Good. 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 It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. I appreciate you coming. So you got a really unique product here, and I've been excited to do, to demonstrate this. Um, talk talk about the benefits of Laser Shot and, and uh, how how this benefits the customer. This particular system is one of our small arms training simulators, and the great thing about this new product line is that we have containerized it and brought it down into about a 33-inch case that's about 30 pounds. Okay. Uh, that This case will encapsulate, encapsulates the whole simulator. It'll come with the screen the and screen, the everything. two weapons and software, everything that's required for this simulator. Great. Now, uh, what type of weapon systems can be deployed on this? Well, we have several kinds of weapons, but the types of weapons, we have recoil weapons that you can fill the form and function of a recoiling weapon. Oh, wow. Or we have an inert weapon that has no Just recoil, laser. but it will train all of the fundamentals. You know, earlier we were talking about some of the problems it's solving for Army, and you were explaining to me. So explain to our viewers what, what this is solving for them. The great opportunity that this system offers the Army is it allows a, a system that's affordable enough to be deployed down at the company uh, battery troop level. Smaller units. Smaller units. So right now those units uh, have a requirement to schedule to use marksmanship simulators which are good simulators but sometimes they're not quite as accessible to the units as the units would like. This system allows them to own their simulator and allows them to train when they want to and wherever they are. And how they want to because then it might just be fundamentals. Like you said they only get to go into the simulator one time and then they have to go back and train again. It is very difficult for them to get scheduled in on these major big simulators? Well, it really does. It allows a different concept. When a smaller unit is able to own its own simulator, then they can sustain marksmanship skills instead of sometimes retraining prior to a qualification. Right. So that probability of success for the soldier qualifying goes, goes up pretty dramatically, I think. That's great. So, and then there's a, another uh, product you guys offer, and, um, and what is that? That is our indoor modular live fire range. And the great greatness about our indoor range is that we're able to scale that to size so it can be 25, I mean 25 meters long, two lanes wide, or it can go as wide as 40 meters and as long as you want. Right. The great thing about the range is there's no inside walls or obstructions on the range, uh, so the range that safety officer can see the whole range. But also, because there's no walls or poles or obstructions, the shooters can actually move forward in the range. Right. So they uh, can do tactical training. We have, absolutely, and, and, and additionally, with the virtual walls that we put in our ranges, you can have a 25 meter wall in that range, but shoot up to a 300 meter target, which allows him to continue to train a much longer distance in a smaller footprint. Okay, so you kind of integrate both systems. So it can either be live fire, the, the simulators can be live fire, or it can be uh, simulator fire. Actually, we use our virtual simulators inside of a live fire range. So you're shooting live bullets at our virtual world so that we can fly that bullet the rest of the duration of flight as if you were shooting at a 300 meter target. And then it gives you, like, how does it give you um, feedback, you know, user feedback on it? Well, it, it can continue to score and, okay. and print a scorecard at the end of the round if that's the software that's being run or you can get automatic feedback as it's taking place and the shooter can see where he's shooting. There's multiple ways of that feedback. But where it really gets important is as our forces are, are struggling with those condensed areas where they can put their ranges because of the environmental impact, right. they're having that need for a smaller footprint. And this allows that. It also allows, because it's 360 degrees safe, a bullet cannot leave the range, I can put this range right next to a chow hall instead of putting it out in a training area. I got you. Saving them time. Yeah, and if you're on a base or you know, you're know you constrained by, or limited by space. Absolutely. That's, that's really interesting. So then, just so you get it right, you, you actually, there'll be a backstop, and then you have a, um, a, a wall kind of that goes there, through there, and it's self-sealing? It's a self-sealing gum okay. rubber screen, exactly. Okay, and so then the, the live fire goes through that, through the backstop, but it's still self-sealing and then it has the, Im the video image on the self-sealing wall. That's exactly right. All right, so you can do anything. You can run scenarios. All of the software that we use for our smaller simulators with lasers, we can run that exact same software in a live fire environment. And then you can also customize it for the customer as well. We do. So different environments or? Most whatever. often we have a customer requirement and we will tailor our software to whatever the customer's requirements are. That's really great. So pretty much the possibilities are endless. We, they can, we have some great uh, customers out there that think up unique requirements and 
and it's a great challenge for us to fill them. I mean, it's fun too. It is a blast, yeah, it's a good yeah. business. Great, well I appreciate you giving us the time today. Thanks for stopping by, Thanks. I appreciate it.